Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, I am going to share you how to use your Windows 11 PC or laptop. So right from your smartphone, whether it's Android or iPhone, so from anywhere. So if you are outside from your house means, in case if you are in the bus or in your if you are in the relative house like that. So even that time also, you can able to use your home PC right from your smartphone itself. And uh, one more important thing is that so for using this method, so there is no need of you need to be connected with the same Wi-Fi network like that so in your Android smartphone or iPhone using your mobile data itself you can able to access your Windows 11 PC or laptop so it's a remote connection based method only so I am using a software so it's one of the best software so using this software I am show you how to use this feature and also I'll show you what are all the features that software is actually contained firstly the software name is called anyviewer.com so you have to just go to this website i have given the link in the description so using this software only you can now able to control your pc or laptop so using the remote connection so it's a free software only and as well as there is a paid version also now once you go to this website you have to download the software so this software is actually available only for the windows based pc or laptop and it's not available for the mac computer or a macbook like that but you can able to control the windows based pc using the iphone or ipad so that this software is available for the windows pc laptop and for ios you can use it for the iphone and then ipad and for android you can use it for the android and as well as android tablet and for ios so to download this application you can directly go to the app store and you can find any viewer application and for android you have to download the apk file just to go to this website and click on the download option and here select the android and just to click on the free download now you can able to download the apk file so you have to download the apk file and install into your android smartphone and this software is one of the best software to use and for free version itself there is a no ads or bloatware like that and once you downloaded and installed so the installation process is simple only and after that now this is how the software is actually looks like you can also download the official version here for windows ios and android so first you have to create a new account so for that in the any viewer website just to click on this profile icon so just to create a new account on the any viewer so that is important and after that you have to log in with your account and then connect option in the connect option only you can able to find the device id and security code and you can also uh, connect with any pc by just putting the device id and this security code is refreshable you can change the security code often and also you can able to create your own security code also so by just going to the settings option and here you can able to find the option set my security code just to enable that and create your own security code and click the save option and in case if you want to access any other pc means you can just enter the device id of that particular pc and you can able to make a remote control and as well as a file transfer also so the file transfer for file transfer that is a difference for the paid version and the free version in case if you are a free version means only up to 100 mb you can able to transfer the files between the two pcs and in case if you are using a paid version means for pro version means you can able to transfer more than 100 MB of files between the PC and one more thing is that you can able to transfer the files only for PC to PC only you can't able to transfer files between the Android phone or iPhone and the PC so that is also one more thing and once you go to the device section here you can able to manage all the devices and your connected devices so under the my devices in what are all the devices you are actually logged in your account with this software so that devices will be shown here so this is a my pc and this is a laptop and so like this you can able to uh, manage all the devices here and once you go to the settings option here is the some of the things and in case if you want to uh, change the device name means you can change it here and one more thing is that it's the on the go application you no need to do any settings you have to just install it and use it and that's it and finally the difference between the paid version and the free version is that in the free version you can able to make a assigned device for up to three device and you can able to manage up to 10 device but in the pro edition you can able to assign up to 10 device and you can able to manage up to 100 device so as i already said if you are an individual user means free version is more than enough and if you are a pro version and if you are an entrepreneur or if you are controlling more than 10 devices means you can go for the pro edition also it is one of the good and comes with the less price only.
now what is assigned device and managed device so the assigned device is nothing but so once you go to the my device section once you right click you can able to unassign or assign the device once you assign a device means so that anyone can able to access your pc at any time without a security code but in case if i am just to click on the unassigned means so once you unassigned means no one can able to access your pc so if you they if they want to access means they need the current security code then only they can able to get the remote access of your pc so in case if you are having your own device means you can set all these device for the assigned devices just to right click you can see the assigned devices or else here is also the option just to click on the assigned device so now this is the overview of the any viewer software now let's have a look on how to use your windows 11 pc right from your smartphone whether it's android or iphone i have just checked in both android and iphone in both the smartphone it works seamlessly good so let's have a look on it well guys now on your android phone just uh, open the any viewer application so any viewer so as i already said you have to manually download the apk of this any viewer and after that you have to install in case if you are using a iphone means so directly go to the app store and there you can able to find the so any viewer remote desktop just to install that and once you open the software now this is how it actually looks like so my devices is nothing but in what are all the devices you are actually installed the any viewer and you are logged in with your account so that will be listed here and recently connected is here and once you click on the connect option so here you want to put the pc's device id and once you click on the connect option you can able to just put the security code and you can connect and settings option is nothing but here you can check the beginner tutorial and uh, your account information in the device option now my device is uh, here is a pc and this is a laptop so once you click on the pc option now this is your pc and here you can control your remote and view screen is nothing but only you can able to view the screen and apart from that you can't able to access that and right from here you can log restart and shut down so for this pc i have already assigned so once you assigned anytime you can able to view the screen or uh, you can take the remote control without the security key so once you click on the remote control option it is actually connecting and after that you will get the some of the gesture guide so how to use the left click and right click and overall how to use the mouse you can able to find it here and i also share about that now here is the windows 11 pc so this is how it actually so what are all you can able to do in the windows 11 in your pc or laptop you can able to do that right from your smartphone and now how to use the mouse to use the mouse so normally just swipe like this to hover the mouse and for left click you have to use a single finger just a single finger tap to left click and to right click you have to use a two finger so use a two finger and make a single tap so that you can able to get the right click so just use a two finger and make a single tap so now the right click has been opened so and also in the pc also it's open so after that to make a single click so use a fing single finger and make a single tap so that now the refresh has been activated so like this you can able to access the mouse and for a drag you can press and hold so that you can drag and to scroll the pages you have to use the same two finger and scroll like this and as you see now the scroll uh, icon has been shown and also the speed of the mouse is really good one so now here is the all the shortcut function and at the bottom this is the menu once you click on that so you will see the lot of option you can stop the connection and power management is nothing but you can lock the pc you can restart shut down and here is a mode option so this is an important option in case if you are using a free version means once you click on the mode so by default it will be selected with the balanced just to switch over to the high speed so that you can instantly able to access all the things because in the balanced in case if you actually set to the balance means so the thing is that the streaming is actually became lag so for example if i'm actually scrolling the mouse means it will actually take some time to reflect between that pc to the your mobile so uh, as for example if i click the start menu so it will take some time to open that start menu window so because of that you can just go to the menu option and there you can just go to the mode and the change and switch over to the high speed and uh, for pro version only you can able to get the high quality uh, high quality resolution and apart from that in the free version itself you can get the high speed it's one of the really good thing so that instantly you can able to access streaming will be in the real time and one more thing is that currently i have connected with the mobile data only and for this purpose you need a good internet connection if you are having a slow internet connection means so then also you can't able to access your pc 
pc in the real time so there will be a lag between the your pc and your mobile so that is also important thing so you can also connect with your wi-fi and the mobile data also but based on your internet connection speed so it will be diffuse and also in between the remote connection if you actually change the connection means so you have to disconnect that then only it will be connected smoothly and under the menu option so you can able to see the rotate screen once you click on that you can able to access in the landscape so this will be more convenient like this you can able to access so what are the things you can able to do in case if you are in the front of pc so you can able to do all the things using uh, your mobile itself so i am just to click on the start menu so start menu is opened up so i am just to opening any one of the application so that particular application has been instantly opened and under this menu option so here is the virtual mouse and you can hide the desktop also once you hide the desktop the desktop has been blacked out and here at the right side all the shortcut option has been available for this just to go to the menu option and here is the edit desktop just to click on that so i have actually selected five different functions show desktop virtual mouse copy paste keyboard like that what function you want you can uh, prioritize as per your preference and after that click on the save option and now you can able to go to the desktop and you can open the keyboard in case if you want to type anything means you can open the keyboard so in the keyboard there is a four layout so this is the first layout so here is the so this is the alpha keyboard and next is the all the functions and on the third keyboard there is a lot of uh, shortcut option control plus c control b like that and the fourth keyboard is that a uh, number pad and also in the settings once you click on the settings you can the customize the keyboard for the each one as per your wish so what all the keys you want so like that you can customize so all these things you can able to manage in the keyboard section so you can directly open your word so i am just opening you now and opening the word application you can open the word application and you can edit something and you can copy paste like that all the things you can able to do so not only that you can go to the google chrome browser and uh, you can uh, open any website you can play the music you can watch the video right from the uh, mobile so all the things you can able to do right from the smartphone itself so in case if you are out from your house and you want to access your pc immediately means you can easily uh, access like this using your smartphone itself see a normal android phone only so using the any android phone or in the iphone you, you can able to get the remote connection using this any viewer software and in the any viewer application there is a paid and the free version also so free in the free version itself you can able to access and in case if you are entrepreneur and you are using multiple devices means you can go for the pro version also and that is also comes with the less cost so overall you can able to get the access of your windows pc anywhere and anytime so using your mobile data or in the wi-fi also so in case if you are having a good internet connection speed means you can access with the mobile data also or else you can use the wi-fi also to access your PC right from your smartphone. I have given the link of the AnyViewer software in the description below. Let's check out that. So, so AnyViewer application is one of the best software you need to have in your Windows 11 PC. So it is comes with a very light in weight and there is no ads or bloatware even on the free version also. So it's one of the best software. Well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this tech and tech channel so please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this video guys.